is up guys welcome back to the channel it is will coming at you with another video on the bmw 335i and today i'm going to talk about the transmission and just what options are available for your automatic transmission equipped uh 335i with the m54 or the m55 um, so there's some options available for you to uh you know change the software on the transmission and this is especially important as you add horsepower and also this is an option that was not available for the 328i which i really wish it had because it was kind of lacking in this department uh, they don't have um, any real options out there at least that i'm aware of to uh to you know upgrade the transmission software but those are equipped with the general motors transmission this car the 335s and the 330s also, and I believe even some 328s. I just not most of them are not equipped with the ZF transmission. But uh, all 330s, uh, 335s, whether it's M54 or M55, just the 335 ISs don't have uh, the ZF transmission. They have a dual clutch transmission. But other than that, all of them are uh, you know a same transmission, so you can do this. So. One option is the Alpina Flash, and that was originally what I was going to go with. It's a, it's a bit of a complicated process to do if you're going to do it yourself. You're going to need to download INPA, WinKFP, uh, NCS Expert, a bunch of BMW software to your computer, which you can get from BimmerGeeks.net. Uh, they have the stuff you need to do it, and I did all of that, and I messed up. I actually bricked the transmission, decided, you know what, I'm going to go with the XHP Flash, and flashed it with XHP. Later on, Pretty much like an hour after I had went ahead and spent the money on XHP, which I'll go ahead and say is not cheap, but it's not really expensive. It's uh, one to go with the Stage Three Flash, which I did, runs uh, about $230, so it, it's a little pricey. But you can flash it yourself; it's really easy uh, with the app on your Android device. If you don't have an Android device, uh, you should probably just get one because if you're going to be tuning these cars yourselves. You're going to be using MHD, you're going to use XHP, uh, bad, uh, the Pro Tool from Bimmer Geeks. You're going to need an Android device, so uh, you should just, you know, you can get one pretty cheap from Best Buy or Amazon or somewhere. And for what you're going to be using it for, you don't really need a fancy one. Uh, I actually use uh, a Samsung Galaxy S6, though, which uh, was my girlfriend's before. It's, now she's got an S8, so she's her old phone. So if you have an old phone laying around, that works too. Uh, I just keep it in airplane mode pretty much all the time. Anyway, um, so yeah, yeah. So I flashed the XHP flash, and it's really awesome. Um, but yeah, what happened with my flash with the Alpina was I forgot to set my computer's USB latency to one, and I don't know what that really means, but I know that it has to be on one for it to work. And mine was default on 16, so it kept losing connection to the car, and that's why it wouldn't flash it. Uh, now that I figured out how to do it, at some point I'm going to flash the Alpina flash just so I can do a compare the XHP Stage 3 to the Alpina Flash, just, you know, uh, so someone who's driven a car and daily driven a car with both on it, but uh, that's not what today, I'm just going to talk about the XHP Flash. So um, basically, it's it takes about six minutes to do, I told you it's about $230, and you can just do it straight from your Android device, just plug it into your car using um, uh, a KD CAN cable and a USB OTG and open up XHP, it's going to recognize your car and tell you what flashes are available for your car. So uh, when you do that, just go ahead and uh, I chose stage three because stage two is kind of like an optimized stock, stage one is an eco kind of friendly, stage four is full on race, so stage three is kind of in the middle. And I can go ahead and tell you that in drive mode, it feels pretty much about the same. Shifts might be a tad quicker, but it's really not any major difference. The big difference is that it always tells you what gear you're in. So instead of just saying D, now it always says D1, D2, all the way on up to D6. Uh, DS mode has just become S mode, and uh, it's the shifts are much quicker. Uh, it downshifts a lot more aggressively as you slow down. It's, it's pretty awesome. I'm really a fan of that. And then manual mode is just where it is at. And it's, the shifts are so lightning quick. And when I first did it, because I tried the Alpina Flash first, I, I lost my paddle shifters at first. And this is how I know I know I can flash the Alpina uh, properly now, is because I was able to flash my paddle shifters back using um, WinKFP and NCS Expert and all that stuff, or just NCS Expert for that. But I was able to, uh, to do it. So now I know I can do it properly. This is the same equipment that you would use to code your injectors, for instance. Uh, also, guys, I did find out my car is equipped with Index 7, so they will need to be replaced, but I have 
zero signs of any issues from them at all, so uh, it's, I'm not really concerned about it right now. Um, but I am going to be putting money away just because I know that index 7s will go bad at some point, so I'll need to go ahead and uh, get some index 12s. Now that I know the coding, I can do that myself, so I'll have a DIY on all that whenever that time does arise. Hopefully it's not any time too soon, though. Um, so yeah, and uh, this XHP thing, uh, you know, if you have 230 bucks laying around and you want to flash your car and do something with it, totally, totally worth it. Uh, I was trying to do the Alpina because it was free, I messed up, I wound up spending money I didn't plan on spending. Maybe not as much worth it, but uh, it's super fun. Manual mode is totally where it's at. I'm having a blast. But uh, I do have a problem that I, I keep on both diverter valves, the connection on the ends to the inlets, keep blowing off. And like I'll put them back on, twist the lock on, and you know, maybe two weeks later, one of them will blow off again. So um, I don't know, I guess I'm gonna have to upgrade diverter valves because they're just not staying on on that end. It's, it doesn't seem like they're bleeding boost or anything, but they won't stay on and uh, it's, it's pretty frustrating. Anyway, that has nothing to do with XHP. Um, I, I really like it. I, I recommend. But if you feel you have the skill to uh, download all the, the softwares like WinKFP, NCS Expert, uh, Impa, then download that and uh, you know run through it. There's tons of guides out there. It's really it's some difficult stuff. I mean, it's not crazy difficult if you have some uh, basic computer knowledge, but it's, it's pretty easy to mess up as I did. So if you don't feel comfortable with it, definitely recommend using XHP just because of ease of use. It's super easy. It can also read transmission codes. Uh, so you know you can always just, you know, if you think someone's up with your transmission, you can run the codes from XHP. And the, uh, the app itself is free and the ability to read codes, I believe, is free too. So even if you don't plan on flashing your transmission, you can just download the app to check your transmission out, see what's going on with it a little bit. Um, you know, and if you download it yet, maybe you look around in the store and you'll be tempted to uh, go ahead and flash it. So, uh, anyway, that that's really all I got for you guys today. Uh, I hope that you enjoyed this video. Uh, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you for watching.